when I want to call on all members of PCRC. And when I call on members of PCRC, it is expected that I'm calling on members of the community. It is expected that I'm calling on the residents in every community and in every part of the country. I please call on members of the PCRC to sensitize members of the public to understand the nature of our responsibilities, to understand that we are there for them. Ours is a service to maintain law and order, to protect life and property. And in doing this, there is no way we can achieve our goals without the understanding of the nature of our job. You to please assist us in sensitizing the public that the, po the police is their own. The police is not an agent of government. The police is part and parcel of members of the public. Help us to sensitize the public because if they don't understand this and understand the nature of our work, which is to protect all, bearing in mind the example I cited, if the other we are part and parcel of the public and it is our responsibility to protect the interests of the public first, and that is why whoever is involved we go out to protect. We go out to prevent any ugly things from happening and that will continue to do. And that is even the more reason why we have adopted community policing as the vehicle, the tool with which we want to effect a difference in our relationship with members of the public because we want the public to identify us as part and parcel of them. If you help us to sensitize the public in this regard, the foundation for effective performance of the police will not only be laid, but it will also thrive. It will grow and continue to grow. The second thing I want to say is that on our own part, that is to say, the police force, which by the grace of God, me and my colleagues have been shouldered the responsibility of achieving the objectives of the Nigeria police. We on our own part, let me assure you, will continue to do everything possible to make sure that we become professionalized. That is the more reason why my colleagues in the management team will tell you for some days now, we've been discussing and we've gone very far in repositioning our training department with not only the responsibility of giving police the basic police training, but also inculcating ethics and ethical conduct in our police. This is why very soon the department will be called Department of Training and will add the other one, you will hear it later. But certainly that other thing we will add will be the responsibility of developing the character of our police officers. Developing this character, sensitizing the approach of changing their attitude through sensitization and through ordinary or informal and formal teachings. This is why the whole idea, the whole exercise is going to be domiciled in the training department. And it shall not only be at the headquarters. We are extending this department to the state commands. 